Hello. In our previous video, we discussed about table manipulation function called as natural inner join. Today, let's talk about another table manipulation function called as natural left outer join. First, let us go to the Microsoft documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement it with the help of an example. Here is the definition and the syntax. Performs an inner join of a table with another table. The tables are joined on common columns in the two tables. If the two tables have no common column names, an error is written. And here the syntax, and it takes two parameters. Left join table, a table expression defining the table on the left side of the join. Right join table, a table expression defining the table on the right side of the join. And return value is a table, and there are some remarks like there is no sort order guarantee, etc. So now with the help of an example, let's try to implement it. I have this PDF file with two table, the cost table and sales table, and it has one-to-one -one relationship using a cost ID as a joint condition. And if I go to the data, I have two tables, cost table and sales table. Sales table, as you can see here, it has sales ID and revenue, and it has just four records. But if I go to the cost table here, it has cost ID ranging from one to six and product and the cost of the product. Now using these two tables, let me try to create a new table and also use the natural left outer join function. Click on new table here. Let me call this as example table. Equal to natural left outer join left table let me use a sales table and then the right table is cost table and hit enter you can see i have all the records from sales id table two three four and ten and revenue but i have only few records these three rows from cost id table because it was able to match only three records with the exact sales ID with cost ID. So this one matches with the cost ID, similarly sales ID with cost ID, and 1004 with the cost ID, 1004. And the product from the cost table and also the actual cost from the cost table. So this is how we can use natural left outer join. If I change this order here, Instead of sales table, let me enter the cost table first, and then the sales table as a second parameter, hit enter. Now you can see the other way. I have all the uh, records from cost ID table, and only the matching records from sales ID table, right? The cost ID, if I go back to the cost table here, I, I have the records from ranging from one to six, and the cost and the product. So now if I go back to the table here, example table here, I have all the records from one to six, but I have only the matching records from the sales table. So this is how a natural left outer join function works. So if you want to do a right outer join, change the table in a different order. So I'll change it back to the first order that is sales table. I want all the records from sales table and just the matching records from the cost table. So I have, so I have the table here. Okay, so all the records from sales table and the matching records from cost table. So this is how uh, the natural left outer join function works in PBI. If you have any questions, please uh, drop a comment. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.